And a magic coach. New this morning, Netflix is being called out after an old tweet encouraging password sharing resurfaces just days after announcing its upcoming crackdown. Nearly six years ago, Netflix tweeted, quote, love is sharing a password. Haha. <laughs> well, you can still share your account with anyone living in your household, but if you do it with anybody outside the house, there will be a fee. And joining us now to talk more about this new password sharing is tech and marketing expert, our good friend Tom Jelnick. Hi, Tom. Tom, how are you? Amy, what's up? How are you? Good, thanks. Okay, so this is me, right? I, I'm doing this at my house. I'm actually not, but I'm just saying, if I am, what do I need to do so that I don't get in trouble? Oh my gosh, the internet lost its mind <laughs> this weekend about this. When it wasn't like worrying about this goofy balloon, people were you know, reading about Netflix and an additional fee. So here's the thing. It was actually a mistake uh, and it kind of got leaked, but uh, they're saying that they're going to start charging between four and five dollars uh, if, you know, if you share a password. Okay, so what do I need to do so that I don't get charged? How do I fix this? So it's a little bit goofy, but they're saying if you have a device, you have to check the device in on your network uh, once every 31 days, which is going to be a real challenge if you have a college kiddo. Oh, right. Well, yeah. you got to drive home and check in your device so you can watch Netflix. I didn't even think about that. So, okay, so that's a good that's a good example of you know you have somebody who is part of your family but lives outside the home. So everybody ha is this all have to be on the same device? Explain. Can you kind of give it to us in layman's terms? <laughs> sure, Amy. So basically, they're going to check your IP address, uh, where your house is, right? So they know where that internet connection is coming from. And they're going to want to ensure that all of your connections to Netflix are coming from that physical location. So if you're outside of the house, that's where it's going to be a problem. Even though you're technically all on the same account. So basically, this is for anybody right. who has somebody outside of the house using the account. So now your college kid basically has to have their own account. A hundred percent. Or you can add on, according to, to the rumors, uh, a four to five dollar charge for each additional person outside of the house. When does all of this actually go into effect, Tom? So nobody really knows, okay. but the speculation is, <laughs> speculation is around March. Um, and interestingly enough, Amy, they also introduced a very cheaper uh, Netflix account where you can watch ads. And I'm kind of thinking it's not coincidental because I think it's going to tick a lot of people off uh -huh. and they're going to need to save money. So they're probably going to drop down to a lower plan. Uh, but they're going to have to, you know, go through ads and watch ads. I gotcha. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right, well, as soon as uh, this becomes officially official, of course, we'll check back in with Tom and make sure that everybody has that fixed up. But if you do have a college kid, they live outside the house, probably best to set up their own account. Tom, thank you. Hey, good to see you, Amy. You too.